We're committed to American renewal, and we were committed by holding ourselves, our country, to our, its highest ideals and taking on the challenges of rapid technological and social change. The fellows are really quite critical to that mission. It goes far beyond funding. This is about intellectual community. It's about having others to turn to as you write a book or engage in new ways of storytelling. I went from being a intelligence officer in the military to uh, going back and getting a doctorate in public policy to figure out how to use policy to address some of these problems we have uh, along the lines of race and uh, have sort of reinvented myself in the second part of my, my life. The New America has been instrumental in helping me make that transition. I left a newsroom to do this kind of work and it's isolating and part of it is just like you just don't have conversations with colleagues anymore and you don't have people to brainstorm with and um, New America has provided that for me. I had a question and then I want to explore the question and New America got behind my curiosity about that question and said yeah go explore it, um, go see what forms that takes. And that's a gift because you don't really get that from a lot of, as a filmmaker, you don't get that from a lot of commissioning editors. When I would tell people that I'm a New America fellow, it meant something. New America has a kind of reputation. It has a kind of reputation for seriousness of projects. It, there was this sense that if this is being, you know, if you're a New America fellow and you're working with New America on this, this is a real deal. This is something that's going to happen. It's not speculative, it's going to happen. And when it does happen, it's going to have impact. Mm -hmm.